Hello, Dr. Vicki Peterson here. I wanted to talk to you today about a study that was just released this week from the British Medical Journal, and it had to do with um, a young boy. He was uh, five years old and 10 months exactly, a little under six, and he was uh, diagnosed with type one diabetes. And two to three weeks after the diagnosis, he was started on a gluten-free diet. Now he was checked for celiac disease and he did not have it. We don't know the background as to why it was decided to put him on a gluten-free diet regardless, but the outcome was certainly worth it. Uh, because this young man, his um, blood values showing that he had diabetes completely normalized on the gluten-free diet and he never took any insulin. He was followed for 20 months, almost two years, and he still never needed any insulin. So um, this isn't magic and it's not unheard of. We know that um, celiac disease is an autoimmune disease. We know that type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease. We know that uh, autoimmune diseases have in common uh, issues with the small intestine allowing substances to get out into the bloodstream which then prompts the immune system to uh, get into an auto-destruct mode. We, so we know that the, the gut has an underlying root cause at least in some autoimmune diseases. We know that celiac and type 1 diabetes actually share some common genetics uh, so there is a high correlation between the two. Uh, so with this young man, we know that his celiac test was negative, so does he really have celiac disease or not? We don't know. Tests are not perfect. Uh, perhaps he truly doesn't have celiac disease and he's uh, gluten intolerant. He's definitely intolerant to gluten because uh, that was the only treatment he was given and his type 1 diabetes reversed. So my point here is, um, and certainly the researchers made this point as well, uh, was that there were absolutely no side effects to initiating a gluten-free diet and uh, the repercussions were certainly marvelous. So my plea is that uh, we spread this information and um, talk to your doctors, talk to your friends. Imagine how many young people um, you could really change their lives. I mean, think about the side effects of, of diabetes. It's, it's uh, horrible. It's a horrible disease. You can lose your eyesight, you can lose your limbs, kidney function. It's, it's not a kind disease to the human body and um, especially it's typically children who are diagnosed with type 1 diabetes and imagine the change in this young man's life and, and how many others could be affected. So um, if we can get out there and do that grassroots movement <laughs> that I love to talk about and um, share the information about this. It was just June 21st out of the British Medical Journal and um, certainly information that's uh, very important to know and to share, and maybe we can make a big difference in many people's lives. Uh, so worth it to get tested for celiac disease with type 1 diabetes, and according to this study, probably worth it to institute a gluten-free diet, whether the test comes out positive or not, just to see how your numbers do. All right, I hope this was helpful, and until next time, I wish you very good health.